You probably already recognize this iconic shaggy bathroom with a gold heart-shaped tub that belonged to actress Jane Mansfield. But I'm gonna tell you some very forgotten historical significance behind this exact photo. To set the scene, let's take a quick look at the very well-documented tale of how the heart-shaped tub was first invented. The story goes that a man named Morris Wilkins, who was the owner of a honeymoon resort, woke up in the middle of the night, ran down to his basement, and drew right on the concrete floor the design of his very first heart-shaped tub that he had seen in his dream. In 1963, he unveiled his very first hand-tiled sweetheart tub for two at his hotel, Cove Haven. Fast forward to 1971, where a photo of that exact tub was run in Life magazine, which caused his resort to explode with popularity because so many couples wanted to try this romantic new amenity. Word quickly spread to the surrounding hotels and they immediately started copying his design. And not only that, it spread across the entire country, eventually being manufactured for the masses. Thanks to Morris Wilkins, that sultry red heart-shaped tub is forever cemented in our minds as a symbol of love and romance. Now the end of the story goes that Wilkins tried to patent his heart-shaped tub design to capitalize on a movement that he started, but he was unsuccessful. And I used to wonder all the time how that could be when he is so well documented and remembered to have been the inventor of the heart-shaped tub. Seriously, just Google who invented the heart-shaped tub. Remember how this whole thing blew up because a photo of his tub in a Life Magazine article? Well, Jane Mansfield's tub was also featured in Life Magazine an entire decade earlier. That does seem to be some pretty solid evidence that the idea had been done before. So what am I trying to say? That the entire internet is wrong about the history of the heart-shaped tub? Not exactly, because Morris Wilkins was an incredible interior designer. He was a visionary and a trailblazer, and his next invention that he did get a patent for was the champagne glass tub. So he knows this romantic space, okay? Let's also remember that this was a very different time. There was no social media and people weren't just being fed images of other people's work all day. It is totally possible that he had never seen her heart-shaped tub. And I also will point out they are very different designs, hardly a copy of one another, but still the same idea. So all I'm wondering is why Jane Mansfield never even gets mentioned in the subject when her heart tub clearly came first. This could be because she was in a tragic fatal accident in 1967, so as the tub rose in popularity, she just wasn't there to speak up for herself. But it could also be that she was a complicated figure. She was undoubtedly brilliant and stylish. She told her husband she wanted a heart-shaped house with a heart-shaped pool, and he really did help her achieve those dreams. But Jane had a tumultuous career, and because of her flair for publicity stunts and self-promotion, people wrote her off as a overly sensual floozy with nothing real to offer the world. There's no doubt that she was so successful and loved by many, but truly never taken seriously by the public. And I have to wonder if that's why she is never mentioned in this conversation of invention. So while we celebrate the month of love and some of us are out there enjoying the world famous heart-shaped tub, let's give credit to not only Morris Wilkins for bringing this experience to millions of couples and starting a movement, but also to Jane Mansfield, who is a visionary way ahead of her time, overlooked for decades, and remember that this very well could have been the first heart-shaped tub. <laughs>